uh, mm -hmm. financial abuse because mm -hmm. I was not allowed to work. You understand? She didn't allow you to work. Didn't allow me to work. The maker did not allow her to work. Apparently, she was working in this school. She even contradicted herself in the interview where she was explaining how she was going from so so and so to Magodo every day to go and run the school. So mm -hmm. I'll come from Isola to Magodo every day to, to, to run the school. A, a landlord went behind and got a judgment which they used in throwing my things out. So why is he saying today now that it's his wife that took the school? Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tama. So um, this is uh, Mika and uh, his ex-wife uh, Drama. Um, and I will show you guys evidence that both of them, you know, there are places where a maker have not really, you can, we can say a maker have not said the truth. There are some areas where we can actually say the wife have not, the ex-wife have not said the truth. From what they have said, they both contradicted themselves. So much about them to say, but I, I'm trying not to make it a long video because I don't really like long videos, right? But let me try my best to go to the point. One thing you have to bear in mind before I show you what I'm about to show you is that when a couple share in public their stories, fine, it's not the ex-wife that came to share the story. It was a maker that shared and then she has no choice. Apparently he has been sharing over the years and this is the first time she's actually spoken. Let's not forget that. It's the first time she's actually come out to speak. And a maker has to bear this in mind that in the olden days, when I say olden days, like before social media became what it became, you can do all of these things and it may be in one or two newspapers and people will move on. But not in this dispensation of social media bus boost. Now that we have professional dragarians, when I say dragarians, people that will be dragging on social media, they will drag the matter. It is not in this age, day and age that you will come and Talk about somebody and that person will not answer. You know why? Because they will be dragged. In this era of social media in-laws, so I personally would say it doesn't make sense that after 10 years or whatever, no, I think 10 years or even whatever more, the maker will bring out all these things and then forget that internet never forgets. I'll show you guys now. A maker said, right? Let me show you guys the evidence. Let me, I'm going to make it a quick video. A yeah. maker said in his interview that the wife took his school yeah it's difficult to clarify yourself because the same people that are bullying you on the internet they are still there they're going to say whatever you say they're like no don't mind him he's still missing her why go ahead move on they just make you feel like what's going on and if you are not prepared to handle it you'll be crushed okay my secondary school saint nicholas college saint nicholas college on cmd road magodo was shut down over 480 million dollar investment naira investment that year 480 million naira investment was shut down and all i had was constant battery <laughs> I was always saying, look, I don't beat this lady. What's going on? I went on air. I was like, uh, come on. I don't, I never did. Babe, what's going on? They say, I beat you. Do I? No, but you're a star. You know, you know, they can always manipulate things and all that. So I, I felt I was gullible until I discovered that she was actually the one behind this whole thing. See, my school was shut down. So that's where I told, go home. This school is shut down. This marriage is shut down. On the same day, I was on air heading for a movie shoot in America. So they took their time to plan. So I was on air when they, she rang the bell and all the students came out and said, look, I'm shutting down this school right now. You all have to go to your parents, put you in another school. 2023, you want to try that, to share a story where there are evidence. So I looked back, a maker was interviewed. This is Bella Niger since 20, this is 2014. Bella, in this thing, you guys can go read it, you can see it on the screen, right? Bella Niger, okay. Uh, so it says, a maker, he case 200 million secondary schools and Nicholas, uh, so Nicholas College in Magodo, Lagos, sealed by the court, by the court. It was not taken by his wife. A maker said his wife, his ex-wife took his school. That's what a maker is saying. But still, but you will listen to a maker in a second. The same wife too that said uh, financial abuse because mm -hmm. I was not allowed to work. You she didn't allow you to work. Didn't allow me to work. The maker did not allow her to work. Apparently she was working in this school. She even contradicted herself in the interview where she was explaining how she was going from so so and so to Magodo every day. To go and run the school. So I'll come from Isola to Magodo every day to, to, to run the school. Yet she said he did not allow her to work. You see what I'm saying? That two of them told things that we can say are not the truth. Now, if you read this, this is the man that now said the wife took his school. So this is what the news covered in 20, uh, Bella uh, said, Bella and I just said in 2014, right? Um, on Friday, 24th, January, uh, um, January 2014, the school was shut down by the courts after a, after a court battle since its establishment in, in, two, in 2005. According to reports, the 90s lover boy was battling for ownership of the school property 
until he recently lost the case, battling with the landlord, battling with the owner of the property, not with his wife. Listen, you know, a maker allegedly refused to pay money to the or to the property owners, a maker and his wife who run the school, but the wife said he did not allow her to work. You see what I'm saying? But they were running this business together. And even there was a place I read when the, 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 the landlord said when they came to ask him to rent his property, two of them came, a maker and his wife. If this is a man that wanted his wife to be a housewife and don't make any money, he would not take her to a business meeting. That was a business meeting. At the same time, when a maker's wife that said he did not allow her to work, when she was doing her interview with Trudy, she said, when they asked her about the school, she said, we, when we this, when we that. The school he's claiming about, <laughs> I mean, we didn't spend that much money. So spent 450 million naira went down the drain. That's the new amount now. It used to be 100 million. Now it's 480 million. The school didn't cost us that much. Mm -hmm. We were still owing the owner of the house. We had leased the building for 10 years because it wasn't really completed. And we we're going to complete it and you know, do other things and then make it suitable for a school and all that. But we didn't even complete the, the, the building, you understand? Mm -hmm. So... You know, we wouldn't have spent about 30 million, 20 million. That is the proof that they were actually truly running that business together. She used we a lot. That is not the speech of a housewife who does not have any work at all. And a man, like I said, a man that does not want his wife to work would not, a man that wants to leave his house, wife at home, that she should not work, would not take her to a business meeting. A maker and his wife who ran the school were subject to of various allegations allegations for the past five years. He said last week, under instructions by the court, the school was taken possession of and sealed then by the government, not his wife. Okay, listen to this one. This one is the son, Nigerian News. This is 2016. Listen to what a maker said. He coming in 2023. To come and change the story. This is what he said. Internet doesn't forget. He said, I want you guys, like, when you listen to this story, my opinion is that people should focus on, okay, what should you guys do from now forward? All this backward rewinding is unnecessary. I am one of those people that have shared stories. Growing up with this one, there's nothing wrong in sharing your stories. But cooking up lies. It's not, you know, people can share that story about, oh, that's my past, what happened, and leave it at that. But to come and be declaring war, and making claims that your, she stole your, she took your school or whatever. She took your school or whatever. There's evidence that's not what happened. You know, look at this. As This is what the maker said in 2016 to the Sun newspaper, uh, to, the, to the Sun. He said, as at the time, the school was given to me on lease basis. The building was just block. There was no fence, no roof, no window, no door, no cement. I came and did everything and made it a house. The cost of finishing a house is one million times more than putting a block. I also did concrete, concrete on, the, on the whole floor and changed the structure into a school. He's explaining to them how he got the property from the landlord, the state it was in, right? Okay, if you go down, he said, our lease agreement was for 10 years. There's no way idea he mentioned that it was his wife. That took the school. He was, he was telling them. Telling them about the landlord and how he lost the school. Listen to this. Our lease agreement was for 10 years. And I was just within 5 years. When they came and threw my things away. And suddenly they started another school there. He was talking about what the landlord did. Is it fair? Despite my right. I, I was even begging them that we should settle it. Because the money I invested was huge. About 800 million he said. And while we were industrial arbitrator panel trying to settle amicably, the old man, he did not accuse his wife. The old man, he said the old man, he did not mention his wife once. How is he coming in 2023, 2023 to say it's his wife that took the property from him? I mean, he's the wife that took the school, his wife that took the school from him. He said the old man, in, 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 in bracket, uh, landlord, went behind and got a judgment which they used in throwing my things out. So why is he saying today now that it's his wife that took the school? He continued and he said, the situation is that of an oppressive judgment that was given without, without the defendant's notice. It was given, now he's saying it is a judge. See, judgment, this is what he's saying. Judgment by the courts. He didn't say it's his wife. 
So if you read all of that, he didn't say his wife took his school, right? He's going, and you can see pictures of the school, all the things that were thrown out, okay? Now, there's another area I want to address from hearing here and hearing from there. That's why when all, some of these stories come up, people say, what is your opinion? What is your opinion? My opinion is this, a marriage is over. What a maker has come out to do is unnecessary. And the worst part is not even saying what he's saying. From the evidence we are seeing, you know, from reports as far back as 20, whatever, 16, 14, what a maker is saying now is different from what a maker have said then. You see that I'm showing you guys evidence. It's not me accusing him of lying. If I'm going by this evidence, a maker is not telling the truth. So what is he trying to do by coming up with this story? His properties were taken from him. His this was taken from him. The interview granted by Daddy Freeze, the, his uh, personal assistant came out and said that a maker owned a lot of properties and a maker still owns a lot of properties. America, when he came back, he had no property left. Well, because she had taken over his property. While she said there was no property in the first place. She said that, he said that she closed his school. Can you please throw some light on what really happened with regards to the school? You see, he, make a lot of, he, has, he has a lot of property. A lot. Yes. Even up to date. Because some people are beginning to feel sorry for him that he will have took everything. Oh, this poor man. But according to the guy, his personal assistant, he still owns a lot of properties. Now, there was something, again, that uh, 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 the PA said. Adeba, Adeba, Ade Ademola, he said something. He said that it was a maker's wife that hit a maker first. I have reasons why I'm thinking it may be true. Because that guy, when he narrated his story, he narrated how they came in on that day and they found him and the maker drove in. And the a maker drove in and they found that the, the, the maker's daughter was unsupervised outside. And then uh, a maker got angry that this child is without um, um die. the child was soiled or something like that and the baby was out there there was nobody watching the baby and all of that why listen to this i saw an article from as far back as hey chineke me let me find this article as far back as 20 so this is as far back as 2012 you see people can cook up stories now as in trying to cook up story to side one person or the other but this is old one when they were still married this is an article from 2012 right that unfortunately unfortunately it paints a picture of a bit of carelessness on the woman's side i'm reading what i saw on the internet so you guys anybody can choose any side they want to choose i believe that they should move on from that peacefully but let me show you guys this article it's a tragedy averted as actor's son let me read it right um, he says that uh, you can see there, you can go read the whole of it. Well, I'll read it to you guys. So basically, their child crashed a car, a four-year-old, right? That is the wife there and the child. And that is the vehicle that she was in. And that is the vehicle showing the damage. Let me read to you guys what he said. Tragic, <clears throat> say, okay. He says, uh, uh, during the week, they said the four-year-old of Nollywood star, Emeka uh, Ike, bashed his mother's Jeep into, into the wall. Report has it that the young man and his mom, the baby, the four-year-old baby, right? And the mom went to a supermarket to pick up st uh, stuff. The mother left him in the car with the key of the car on the ignition. That's careless. If it truly happened. I'm reading an article from far back, right? Uh, in the ignition. Cu curiosity took the better part of the boy who kickstarted the car. The impact is, is what you are looking at. What do we call this act of carelessness? This story doesn't look good. That she even left a four-year-old in the car by himself does not look good. For the fact that, it, you know, the child ended up being able to make the car move at all, there's carelessness there. And I'm looking at that. And I'm looking at this other story that they said a maker was accusing uh, her and that this child was not well cared for. Yes. Did he ever lay hands on her? I don't want to use the word B E A T because of the yes. community guidelines. Did he ever lay hands on her? Mama did first. Twice. The second time, that was, yes. In fact, when she said I came back, I told, I said, Mama, why did you slap him? Because he was coming with anger. What caused problem that day was the daughter. And that girl, was almost, it's almost like a year at that time. Because my son, my first son, senior, ah, like almost five months. Because I had a baby at that time. 
But bro, the moment he, he, he drove in, he didn't even enter. He didn't even, I can't even close the gate. So he, he, so he passed through this. There's a side because he's duplex. So there's a side to enter through the. So we saw that girl on that walk way of the side there. So he was, ah, look at, look, at, and there's nobody with the girl. If I lie, there's nobody with the girl. So he picked the girl. She, she already messed her body. I was there. When, when, so what me, I, 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 I so when she picked up, when he picked up the girl, so he was really young, he was angry. Both of them were having an argument. She's there. Is the, look at how you, this girl, she's already uh, 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 put in, in a body. You didn't clean it. You, you just leave her only hard there yeah, outside. Like, what was it? So, is that, uh, so the argument was, so I was up, I was coming down. That was when Mama eats the makeup. Are you sure of this? 100%. Do you have, have, if any my guess, do you have anybody else that was there? It just is it's a private house. It's only me that even has have access to enter the house. And nobody again, nobody. I said, I repeat, there's nobody that do go to that house again except me. If I, they don't even have gates, man. What happens is that if you now believe a story and say, okay, if this woman has a reported okay reported alleged history of a bit of a carelessness a, a carelessness of a minor and then you hear the story of this other one the child was in the car i'm sorry that the child was left unattended you you may as a human being it's okay it's okay you don't forget a story like this before and a child being left unattended another story of a child being left unattended that makes Debola's story a bit believable and then if you don't believe Debola's story when you not say that it was Madame that slapped or got forced. You are, you are, you are, you are likely to say, since Debola already told a story that, you understand, it, it makes it, it's possible that that happened. It's possible. But you see, when couples come to judge for people, if nobody would, let me tell you, nobody will ever, okay, look at Emeka. When Emeka is judging, did you hear him tell you what he did wrong? Of course not. You know, you didn't. There was no place Emeka was really saying, and I, I was wrong. You know, I punched her. No, Emeka never agreed once that he was violent. Never agreed. And then when you hear the wife talking about, she was talking about what Emeka did. She's not going to come and tell you that I said this and I did. Like there are some things that typically couples when they are judging their case, so and they are trying to make you believe them. You understand? They're trying to make you believe them against the other person. You see, there's something about coming out to share your story. You're not sharing your story because it's, your, it's you versus somebody else or whatever. You're just sharing a story about something that happened in your life or whatever. But when a couple, they are coming out and they have to prove to you that they are the good one and the other, or the other person is the bad one, they are definitely going to show you the other person's side that does not look good. So I'm thinking that it's possible. I'm not saying it's true. It's possible that uh, Debolai may be telling the truth about the madame was the one that lifted her hand first. Right? Now, and then... Oga obviously is a man has more power, used his power and did what uh, did more damage than she did. Another thing is people are leaving coming and say, "Oh, Summer, if you know her, she was a quiet young girl. She was only eighteen when she met him. Eighteen year old girl and a thirty year old are not the same. Because when a twenty eighteen year old girl is still trying to know, a lot of eighteen year eighteen year olds don't know who they are yet. In the sense that it takes getting to thirty. Before you begin to know who you really, really are as a human being. Because when you're young, there are some things you still know that you're young. You rely on elders or people that are older to relay to you what life is about or whatever. But at the point you get to, you begin to know what life is about. There are some, you know, that's another mistake some men you know, make. Think, let me go and marry one quiet, small village girl, a young girl, you know. Forgetting that all oh, these people that are already matured. Oh, let me tell you one positive thing thing about already girls that are already matured is that whoever they are to a great extent, they already know who they are. Young girls are still discovering themselves. You may be blessed that you get a young girl that they discover themselves and their self are still whatever you expected. But some men think because I married this young girl, you know, she's only 18, you know, and then she's only 18 and she may be naive and she doesn't know much. And uh they think I can always be, you know, what I can always, you know, how do I say, 
I can only tell her, get up, stand up, sit down, da, 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 and she will follow because she's younger, following me or whatever. But it gets to a point where they become a real adult. Real adults that are able to say, no, I don't want to go left. No, I want to go right. I don't want to go right. I want to go left. Because they now know who they are. And it's not a bad thing. But it's how couples manage it that can be a problem. Right? Now, is a maker an aggressive person? Looking for what we are saying, he looks like it. He looks like it. You can tell even from the way he's speaking, the way he's... You will know say he sounds like someone that you get for body. It's possible he married a young girl who did not know much about life. And at the beginning, she was able to say, okay, you know, my husband, whatever you say. Because, you know, but it gets to a point where she's no longer a, 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 that 18-year-old girl. And she's able to answer back sometimes. So if a maker, see the word I'm using, oh, if, if a maker was using lordship in the marriage initially, and then she got to the point, you want to say lordship, you know that, you know, that thing about you must be as I say. It can get to a point where a woman will say, no, it doesn't necessarily have to be as you say. I should be able to contribute my opinion as a wife. It did happen, right? And I think that's what ended up happening where it become, become be like a power tussle between them. Another thing I want to say from the day Mola said something, he said that they had no driver, they had no house help, they had nothing. That's a mistake some people make. Housework is not easy. Get any help you can get. It can be overwhelming. Marriage is difficult enough already. So when a couple then, for whatever reason, do not have any assistance at all, marriage can be stressful. Running a home can be stressful. Stressed people can be angry people. And angry people can do terrible things. Angry people can become very volatile, can become very, you know what I mean? I mean, you know what I'm trying to say? So I don't know why they didn't want to have any help or have any uh, um, any assistance at all. It can't be difficult. That Do you know that uh, the couples, uh, Nigerian marriages abroad that they're having problems, you don't know it's part of the problem. They are stressed because there's no help. Even if it's to employ someone that comes and does the cleaning and one or two things, they come in the morning and go home in the evening. There are some kind of help that come and go. They don't have to live in your house 24-7. Your house Somebody can come and do the laundry. Those kind of things, it helps to reduce the stress in a marriage. I want to say this, any marriage where it has gotten to violence, that's not normal. Let's, it is not normal, it will never be normal, and let's not normalize it. Let's not ever make it a normal thing for couples to leave their hands on each other. So much I may end up saying, but I, I plan not to make it too long, it's already a long video. My take is this, it is ended. If there's anything a maker, a maker needs, let a, a maker go to court and get it and avoid unnecessary things. Let the past be the past. A maker is now in a new relationship. He shouldn't be, he shouldn't be operating at this level. This is, and this is how I feel about it. And as always, whatever your opinions are, please leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.